everybody. Welcome back to the most uh, amateur MTG channel on YouTube. We're going to do another box battle today. So, how this works is they've got four participants. Each one's going to get two packs out of these boxes. We're going to add up the mana value of all their rares and mythics. Whoever has the highest total and whoever has the lowest total is each going to win one of those Dominaria Remastered Collector Packs. Okay, Ties will be determined based off whoever has the single highest casting cost mythic. And if that doesn't do it, whoever has a single highest casting cost rare. And if that doesn't do it, it's a two-man blindfolded sack race. We got Vincent. We got Matthew. We got Dustin. Let me get this open. You know, I think for four packs, they'd be able to find a box that fits it. And Chris. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Here. Go. <laughs> the pack was supposed to real open when I said that, but no. All right, Vincent, here we go. So we're going to have some comments. Don't care. There's nothing special in that special slot. You do have gorgeous, gorgeous lands, though. I am a fan. Commander's Sphere. Vandal Blast, always a good pool. Sherry. Shiray, I don't know. Pearl Medallion. Good start. Good start. That's always, that's a fantastic start to the video. That is a two. Training Center. Hey, not bad. Look, you can get a lot of junk rares in this spot. That's pretty good. Still a two. Nick's Born Behemoth in foil. That's pretty cool, actually. Borderless foil. That's a 12. All right, so you are at a 14. Grave Pact. First Mythic. Has been starting to recover at the time of this filming. So what do you add again? So you're at an 18? 18. Grand Abolisher for a 20. Not a bad first pack at all. That's one of them deep packs. Okay. Matthew. Really? <laughs> this box is extra sealed. All right, Matthew, here we go. So you got some commons. Got some uncommons. Land. Then into the borderless stuff, we got Nadir's Nightblade, Faithless Looting, Generous Gift and Foil, Obnix for A5. Ah, Foil Etched Twilight Prophet for Mythic number two. Uh, so you are at a nine. Composer of Spring for an 11, pretty good. Grenzo for a 13. And Gisela in Foil. Are you at a 20 also? You are also at a 20. Okay. Dustin. All right, come on, Pack. Oh, jeez. All right, fair, fine. There you go. Let's rip. I'll just rip around the other way. Since that's the way you wanted to rip. Okay. Arcane Signet. Come on, give me the card. Command Tower, Path of Ancestry, all right. Wayward Sword Tooth, decent rare, that's a three. A Zombie in Foil Etched, that is an eight so far. Taunting Sliver, okay, 12. Micaeus, this seems to be kind of the well thought of uh, best of the artworks. Um, it does look menacing. It is It is pretty good, I have to admit. like that. And maybe it's because he's actually kind of giving it a look, and he's not just looking off into the distance. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I lost count, though. I will count again in a minute. Oh, sheesh. Dustin. There we go. Fierce guardianship. Borderless foil. Narset saving everybody. Love to see it. I'm going to sleeve that thing up in a second here. Give me a moment. A 21. Whoops. Actually ran into the, to the stand. Apologize. It'll, that'll take a minute. It's kind of hard to actually stabilize once you do that. Let's give it a minute. It'll, it'll settle. All right. Chris. Jeez, Dustin. That was a hell of a pack. Hell of a pack. There we go. All right, Chris. Here we go. Swamp. 
Dread Return, which uh, from my understanding is currently literally destroying Popper. Comment if that is in fact true. Tatiova, that is also one of the best of the borderlesses in my opinion, or the profiles. Kodama's Reach, Vindictive Lich, Leech for a four, whatever. Oh, nice, Foil Etched Emerald Medallion. These are sweet. In general, I think the Foil Etching works really well for certain things. It works well for blue cards and it works well for artifacts. I don't like the way it works for gold cards. Like straight gold, like three color gold cards. I think it looks really stupid. But, but this, awesome. That's a six. Okay, Liori. So a commander out of the uh, Planes uh, Walker commander deck, whatever. The second commander. Uh, what are you at? A nine? Nine. Ha! Ugh, no. All right, so 13. And, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Pack ended up being solid. So that is a 16 with extra planar lens. Okay, so first round we got Vincent and Matthew both tired at a 20. We got Dustin at a 21 and Chris at a 16. So Dustin's in the high and Chris is in the low currently with one pack left. Oh, Lightning Greaves. That's kind of a rarity out of these. Please, Shari, Shirai, Share, I don't know, Path of Ancestry, Dread Return, Azami, a lot of Azami in this video, that's a five. Mizix, you're at a nine. Titan of the Jar, that's solid, that's a 15. Eh, yeah, Steel Shaper's Gift, good card, not a giant hit, but that's a 16. And a Mythic, oh, Texture Ur! Freaking A! Okay. Okay, Vincent. Okay. All right. Okay. I see. I see how it is. Hold on. That's a 25? That is a 25. That is a 45, Vincent. Congratulations. The foil, at, sorry, the textured Ur Dragon is actually, it was always going to come down, folks, but it's kind of stabilized. It's uh, hovering around that $100 point. Okay, Matthew. All right, here we go. Reality shift. Code Dama's Reach. All that glitters. Alms Collector for a four. Speaking of the gold, uh, that is a Nekusar. That is a nine. Regal Sliver, pretty good. So that's a 13. Training Center, still at a 13. And then Smothering Tithe. While, yeah, not a, not a uh, textured Ur Dragon, that's pretty darn sweet in its own right. Very nice. That is a 17, and let me sleeve that one up. I should probably just like leave the sleeves over here. That'd be smart. Let me just recount. That is a 17. Matthew, you're at a 37. So Vincent's at a 45. Matthew, you're at a 37. Dustin. By the way, that now that sound that you hear, I do in fact have the windows closed. It's getting kind of warm in here. That's how loud it is. <laughs> Kind of ridiculous. All right. Generous gift. Dustin, here we go. Hey, soul ring. Very good. Merry landscape. Imps mischief for a two. Lifeblood hydra. So you are at a five. Boon of the spirit realm. Pretty good. That's a 10. Undergrowth stadium. Still at a 10. And a spectator seating. Okay, that is a 10, which means I'm, well, doesn't, doesn't actually mean anything yet. You're at a 31, Dustin. You haven't won the low yet, but you definitely just got into the lead of the low, and then Vincent just got a pretty good lead for the high. Okay, Chris. You're at a 16. Finished low is a 31. Finished high is a 45. All right. We got... Mystic, K 
Counter Spell, Counter Spell, Taysa for a 4. Angelic Field Marshal in the etched foil, that's an 8. Desecrate Reality, that's a big old casting cost. So you are at a 15. Magus of the Wheel for an 18. And Grenzo for a 20. Okay. Final scores. We've got Vincent, you finished in the high. The Ur Dragon puts you over the top. You finished at a 45. Matthew, you finished at a 37. Dustin, you finished in the low at a 31. And Chris, you finished at a 36. Overall, those are a couple pretty good boxes. As we are coming to a close on, on the collector boxes. Got one more video with them. All right, Dustin. Nantuko Shade. Mystic Remora, not bad. Arborea, come on. Denizen of the Deep. Lightning Plains, but Mystic Remora. And then Vincent, let's get into yours. Umbilicus. Windborn Muse. Ah, good old Yog Daddy. All right, we got Yog Mouth, Moth in the Old Bordered. And Divine Sacrament. Oh, foil Old Bordered uh, Tormat's Crypt. Okay, that's the battle, folks. Um, I have one more of these. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a battle, but we'll see what it is. Um, I appreciate everybody. We've had some banger hits in this particular uh, opening, so it's good to see. Thanks for watching. Till tomorrow morning. This is going to be, uh, I guess, kind of a quick one. Bye. Not going to go into any kind of rants.